question number 93 and the framing of this question is like this way that in the evolutionary history of the animal kingdom which of the following feature were evolved for the first time in phylum platyhelminthes so with reference to the platyhelminthes following taxonomical trends are given in this question already like metameric segmentation organ level of organization close circulatory system true celome and finally bilateral symmetry okay now you have to ascertain that platyhelminthes in platyhelminthes which taxonomical uh, trend has appeared first time let us start with first with metameric segmentation we know metameric segmentation is a kind of linear repetition of body parts it means we are talking about segmentation so segmentations are absent in platyhelminthes so this trend is not applicable as far as platyhelminthes is concerned second trend is organ level of organization yes for the first time in the evolution organ has appeared first time from platyhelminthes because up to the phylum cylindrates it is confined to only tissue level so organ definitely this trend seems to be okay as far as phylum platyhelminthes is concerned third close circulatory system again in this evolutionary trend we know it is the only annelida and chordata which have got close circulatory system so this term is also not applicable as far as platyhelminthes is concerned true celome okay we know that the space between body wall and digestive tract is known as body cavity and the platyhelminthes are famous for the acelomate because the body cavity is absent it is already filled with the tissue okay so this term is also not applicable as far as symmetry is concerned bilateral symmetry definitely bilateral symmetry is also appeared first time from phylum platyhelminthes symmetry when we are talking about the symmetry where the chief organs are uniformly distributed at the either side of the body such type of body can be divided into two equal half from single plane and this type of symmetry has appeared first time from phylum platyhelminthes so now in our option option number 1 has given b and e if this is option so this is b and this is so i think option number 1 is correct one because both b that is the organ level is there and e is there in option number 2 it is a b c so c is not available option number 3 it is a c d again it is not applicable and finally option 4 is not applicable so answer is 1 question number 93 next question is question number 94 again which one of the following phylum is correctly match with its general characteristics here the phylums are given one is porifera and in porifera it is written it has got cellular level of organization and external fertilization so option number 1 as far as porifera is concerned no doubt they have got cellular level but as far as fertilization is concerned they have got internal fertilization so the first option is can be discarded because because of the there is a discrepancy in the fertilization second option is in regarding to the cylindrates now in cylindrata they have written the diploblastic and mostly segmented as far as germ layers are concerned no doubt they are diploblastic but again segmentation is not there because we know segmented body is found in annelids in chordates in orthogonal so this is also wrong statement third point third statement is askelmanthes and the phylum askelmanthes pseudocelomate rather the askelmanthes you can say round worms are they are famous for the pseudocelomate where the it is found in the pouches so this is pseudocelomate no doubt and finally they are dioecious when you are saying dioecious it means male and female are distinctly appear you can see distinctly they, you can judge it's a male and it's female in other word they are unisexual so this option is okay third number is okay as far as question number uh, option number fourth concern in hemichordata celomate body okay they are celomate but the circulatory system is written close one so they have got open type of circulatory system so both this characteristics are matching with the as phylum askelminthes so in that way answer number 3 is correct one thank you